In the First World War, a policy of unrestricted warfare meant that merchant seafarers were at risk of attack from enemy ships, and in honour of their sacrifice, George V granted the title Merchant Navy and in 1928 gave the Prince of Wales the title of Master of the Merchant Navy and Fishing Fleets, which has been held by successive sovereigns. When the United Kingdom entered the Second World War in September 1939, George VI issued this message. In these anxious days, I would like to express to all officers and men in the British Merchant Navy and the British Fishing Fleets my confidence in their unfailing determination to play their vital role in defence. To each one, I would say, yours is a task no less essential to my people's experience than that allotted to the Navy, Army and Air Force. Upon you the nation depends for much of its foodstuffs and raw materials and for the transport of its troops overseas. You have a long and glorious history and I'm proud to bear the title Master of the Merchant Navy and Fishing Fleets. I know that you will carry out your duties with resolution and with fortitude and that high chivalrous traditions of your callings are safe in your hands. God keep you and prosper you in your great task. During Operation Overlord, which lasted several weeks, the base for many of the huge transports was the port of Southampton, but to ensure rapid dispatch they anchored in the Solent, avoiding a 25-mile round trip. One little-known yet vital role performed by merchant seamen during the operation was the revictualling at sea by motor fishing boats and ferries pressed into service and manned by civilian volunteers under amateur yachtsmen skippers. The old adage an army marches on its stomach was just as true during Operation Overlord and it was not uncommon to see small vessels hurrying from ship to ship with huge labels on their bridges or pennants fluttering bearing the words bread, meat and spuds, tea and coffee, and even, in one American case, ice cream. At least 35,000 British merchant sailors were killed in the Second World War, a greater proportion of the merchant navy's strength than was lost by the other three services. Yet it was not until the year 2000 that the men and women of the merchant navy joined the official march past at the Cenotaph on Remembrance Sunday.